Hi there, uh, I'm Rod Rasik. I'm a pediatric oncologist at BC Children's Hospital in Vancouver, and I'm a, a clinician investigator at the BCCHRI. Two uh, scientists were giving a talk about pharmacogenetics, or the study of uh, genes and how they uh, potentially can predict who is going to have a good response versus a adverse response to medications. And it really made me uh, ask the question, why are we not doing this in pediatric cancer? The technology is emerging, we have expertise uh, and uh, the setup to actually do this work, uh, and I'm seeing um, you know, the, uh, the adverse uh, side effects to chemotherapy on a daily basis uh, uh, in the clinics and on the cancer ward. I looked into uh, what I wanted to study, and we decided to look at two uh, drugs and uh, two uh, you know, side effects. So the first one we chose was anthracyclines uh, and its uh, effect on the heart. We know that these medications work really well to cure cancer, but unfortunately, uh, a small subset of kids uh, develop um, quite serious and potentially life-threatening um, uh, side effects uh, with damage to the heart. And the other topic we were interested in was hearing loss due to cisplatin. Cisplatin is used in a variety of brain tumors and solid tumors. It's a really important drug for curing those tumors, but we know that you know, up to 60% of the kids receiving the medication will have permanent hearing loss uh, due to the medication. And so this grant really changed my whole career over the last 20 years um, and opened doors for me to go down the path of trying to make drugs safer for kids in Canada. And so um, for the last 15 years, we've been working on those two drugs as well as uh, multiple um, other chemotherapy drugs that um, we've been trying to identify genetic predictors. And, and for me, what is most rewarding is, um, you know, is now we're at a point where um, a patient being uh, diagnosed with cancer in Vancouver uh, and uh, uh, is being offered a genetic screening at the time of diagnosis and we are uh, uh, handing results back to their oncologist to tell them what is their risk of uh, toxicity uh, and, and the oncologist can then use that information in whatever way they want. We have seen in these five years a reduction in uh, toxicity especially with anthracyclines with the use of cardioprotectants uh, and, in, and in some instances, we're actually finding alternative uh, uh, treatment regimens entirely that are curing the kids without using the medication that they're at risk for severe toxicity. So um, we are seeing the end results, uh, improving lives uh, in the clinic. Uh, and, and, you know, where we're at now in 2021 uh, is that uh, we are now rolling this out uh, nationwide. So we have a cross-Canadian study called GoPGX that is returning results to kids uh, from coast to coast in Canada.